Now we can start writing some code. And basically what we want to do is we want to say that this object, the control object, has variables. So what are variables? Well, a variable is basically something that can vary. So think about things in games that can change over time, things that are altered. For example, you might start off with full HP and then something happens, you get damaged and your HP goes down. So we need to make something which is the HP. Now, I like to start by calling my variables, just using a lowercase a and then writing the name of the variable. Now, the reason that I do that is because, well, sometimes you'll get variables which actually have already been assigned something in Game Maker. So say like lives. But lives, for example, is already a variable. You see how it's turned pink? It already means something. So score and health, it already means something. So I like to not use them because they are pretty stupid and they are very limited. So I usually like to start it with a lowercase a just to make it sure that it's not its own variable. But for the sake of these tutorials, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with VAR to say variable because well, I've already done OBJ for object and SPR for sprite. So, and that actually just kind of tie into how important things are to not get mixed up. Now, the equal sign in this in GML, which is Game Maker language, and in programming in general, is somewhat different to how equal sign actually works in general mathematics. Usually, if you put an equal sign there, it means that something is something else. So, for example, I'll go back to that in a moment. But say, for example, you put 1 plus 1, if I can type 1 plus 1 equals 2. And, yeah, so it is. And say if you were to have a variable health in this game and you want to have it equal to 100, you would put that, you would say health, their health equals 100, saying that, yep, your variable health is the same as 100. But what makes this different, this equal sign here, is that it's not saying that both sides are the same. What it's saying is that the thing on the left is being assigned to the thing on the right. So, for example, what wouldn't work is if instead I put 100 equals their health. Because what that's saying is that 100 becomes whatever my health is. Well, that doesn't make sense because 100 is just 100. It's not going to be anything else. It is just 100. So that doesn't work. So let's think of other things that you would want in games as well, variables. Um, ammo. And say you want to start with 30 ammo. And these are just some examples. And don't forget that these actually don't mean anything in Game Maker yet. I could make another variable, say clowns, and make that equal to 97. And I can make clowns do whatever I want it to do. It doesn't have to be anything to do with what we would typically know to be clowns, but it's just a name for a variable. 